Hello everyone, we're going to be going through many different posts on the R. Kurosanji subreddit. A lot of these are going to be drama posts and opinions and allegations and such. Unless there is other proof, take it as an opinion piece and take it as allegations. And I will have as many sources as possible. But if no sources are there, then that means it's just an allegation, a shiitake post, whatever you want to call it. It is to be taken as an opinion. Thank you. For May the 4th, we are going to go over a little bit of the basic turmoil of things that have happened in Idisanti so far. Zion termination, Zion slander streams, uh, Selen music video thrown away by management, Selen's two attempts on her life, uh, self suspension, management impersonating through Selen's account, Pomo cried due to loss of, loss of a lifetime opportunity. We went over that one with her video. Most likely it was Metal Gear Solid. Pomo graduation, Selen's termination, Black stream to slander Selen, now Doki Bird, during the same time she was doing, I believe, Neopets. Um, massive ongoing Nijisanji boycott, viewers and business partners and subscriber losses, multiple ex Nijis come back as indies or V Shoujo and are much happier. Leaked Nijisanji contract, time pressure, hush contract upon termination graduation, Luca document, Michi's tax problems, virtual rhapsody, quality issues. And that's the thing, Zion got the ball rolling and um, Doki Bird thing lit it on fire and towards the gasoline, towards the big barrel of gasoline. And that's what lit everything on fire right now. And yeah, it's been very tumultuous it's been very crazy uh zion of course did get doxxed by the crowd who should not be named and niji fans had to lay low after a termination and a one girl story uh some niji and members decided to still duck around and find out examples here are off charts while others chose to lay low a hypocritic pr stunt would have worked i love artist wave if an artist wasn't found out that she was harassed by niji management because of the two cat videos so yeah They've been trying to do PR. PR didn't work. Air live woes and copyright troubles. 3D debuts of Zutomo, Etheria, and Nina kicked out. <clears throat> really not escaping the click allegations. Members are relatively okay. Meanwhile, Rose and me, it got wrecked hard. Recent ones, Aya allegedly harassed. Some Niji and Livers took fake posting in their PLs. Uh, Box Demon became a homeless demon and tried to reassure her fans. It's the fans, a fire sale. They're debuting on Billy Billy and didn't go so well. So a lot of things, like I said. It's just kind of a bit of a rundown of things that are going on. Of the three, Ike is the one that's kind of been laying lowest and hasn't been doing much of anything from what I know. Ilira has been definitely been hit hard by the consequences as Ike's CCV changed, as any subscriber count dropped. Also been getting many dislikes, that kind of thing. I'm curious if anyone's been keeping record on this. Uh, still drinking water, better compared to Ilira and Vox, probably because from the black stream, we can all sense how awkward it was for him. Yeah, it seemed very awkward. It seemed like he was actually reading from a prompt that was given to him. So it kind of seemed very much more forced on Ike's part. Uh, compared to Vox, who sounds so enthusiastic while uh, essing on Doki and Alira, who's fake uh, shaking her voice. Um, here you can see the CCV money earned, dislike ratio, etc. per stream. Both YouTubers stream on YouTube can be found here. Remember this right, not even 0.5 of his subs watch his streams. So that is, um, you know, something that's been happening recently. Subscribers, uh, views, revenue. Uh, he streams on these hours. Uh, let's see, 1722, 1335. So he's been having... Okay, CCVs, as far as it can be told, uh, his subscribers have dropped. It has dropped from 963 uh, seven days ago to 962 right now. He lost about 1,000 uh, in the last several days, in the last seven days at least. And overall, he hasn't been doing great, but he hasn't been doing horribly. He's been all right, mostly because everyone subconsciously agreed he was forced to do the stream. Cu uh, couple that with him being friends with the right people and he's getting off pretty okay. And Ike Evelyn overall has lost 30,000 subscribers in the last 90 days. And that may somehow, some part of it, be due to uh, the Black Stream. But uh, I think it's just because of the EN situation with Doki Bird that he has been losing, just like everybody else has been losing. Uh, Elira has been hit really hard because of the Black Stream. But everyone else, in general, has been losing thanks to the whole EN going insane and EN having their wildness uh be shown to everybody if only he is not part of the black stream trio I think he might hit one million subs already very true and sub to him immediately when i heard his voice in that stream and yeah he probably would have been at a million subs it would have been 30k up most likely when he started drinking the water i immediately unsubbed to him he was that close to one million huh uh, he wouldn't get to keep the cold play button anyways, but it, it so it wouldn't matter. But yeah, Lexium has a huge sub counts. Uh, Lavish sub count across all branches. Ranking goes uh, Salome, Kuzuha, Fox, Kane, Sukinomito, Nitsurias, and it keeps going, going, going. And Shu has 935. Shu is the lowest at 935. But yeah, uh, Ike, because of the fact he was part of the Black Stream, most likely, uh, it has been losing a lot more than he normally would. But uh. I do hope the best for him. As I say, I'm never against the livers. I am against the company because most likely the company forced them in this case. It really seemed forced, at least on Ike's part. So that's what I wanted to say about this. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, of course.
Finally, Hex Haywire, which, which you know, has had his bad moments about talking about, you know, breaking someone's urn and using the stuff inside the, the, the ashes of the grandpa to, to, you know, make potted plants or whatever you want to call it. That is just really bad overall and uh, not a good thing to say. The National Hex Haywire Tour will be making a stop at one of the largest shopping malls in the Philippines. Glorietta, catch him tall and bright 100 times a day at random from 5.05 to 5.07. <clears throat> and what is this? What is this? What is this? They're uh, using that. Oh, okay. Pretty much it's going to be like a like an actual display instead of it being anything else. There's Hex, Hex Haywire. They're just, you know, doing announcements, that kind of stuff. So it's just going to be them do, pushing all of these things out there for his birthday, I'm assuming. Uh, activity calendar, born from a wish. So yeah, it's a birthday thing. Uh, Hex has done a lot of bad things. Hide your urns in your fish. Rip Hex. We won't miss him. Not surprised since he does make nearly tons of money. Just another case of favoritism. Uh, you mean that forgettable DS? Uh, yes, Mr. Pretends to play Doctor until he gets cancelled. Yeah, he's not someone memorable. He's not someone that people should remember. He's not someone that people actually should really care about other than, you know, just enough to not watch him. Enough to know who he is and not watch him in the future. Hello and may the 4th be with you. Happy May the 4th. Uh, we're talking about Doki Bird today. And today is uh, an interesting day for Doki Bird, actually. Of course, we all know who she is. She used to be Selen Totsky. And, you know, she's been doing a lot of things like Overwatch 2 rankings, things like that. Um, and we also have Moonlight Jewel, who is someone who made a Iron Mouse doll. She's made right now, you know, Shy Lily dolls. She makes dolls of a lot of popular VTubers, a lot of popular YouTubers but mainly popular VTubers recently because it fits into what she does. And she has made this. She has made the official, and official for her, I guess, uh, Doki Bird doll. YouTube algorithm has completely screwed me over. Made one of the only Doki Bird 16 inch ball jointed anime doll. Please watch and share the video. And guess who watched the video? We have here, Doki Bird, who watched the video. Let's take a listen. It is. Hey ho! So if you guys been watching me for a while, you probably know that I have made some VTuber dolls in the past. As me, since I'm a VTuber. A and I'm actually I love getting married in about a week. I thought, how about I make another VTuber doll before I'm taking a tiny break from posting? Because she's talking about me, guys. Is a lot. Mm. Amazingly enough, the decision who to make was made pretty easy when I saw that the amazing Ducky Bird hosted a charity <laughs> stream and searched for artists to participate in that. The artworks and items that the artist offered would then be auctioned up and the proceeds would go Ducky to Bird. Charity. So yep. I applied, got accepted, and offered a slot of a custom Ducky Bird doll that would go like so corporate. I can uh, like this, money, greed, sure slash greed now. For that, I carefully also, since he wants to sponsor me, I take that back. Wait, who's she talking about? Awesome. Bros. Designs into 3D is really difficult, but it's a challenge that I really enjoy conquering. Feels like mini cosplay somehow. <laughs> Did I actually ever tell you that I used to cosplay back in the oh. day? Pre Moonlight Jewel times. <laughs> Let's make Ducky's boots next. I cut the boot pieces awesome. from the fabric already <laughs> and first sewed together the front seam, but just about half an inch. After sewing and ironing it, it looks like this, and I can now proceed to glue around. She's the really good at what she does. Part. She's really good at what she does. I cut from white fabric. And Disney will fuck up the kingdom. Oh, absolutely. Disney is past its prime. And we're now Unless it goes into another renaissance era. Disney is all about like corporate money, greed, slash greed now. Also, Disney wants to sponsor me. I take that back. <laughs> just takes it back and he's gonna get spawned, of course. I of course. I will That's Doggy Bird being funny. On the back of the boot this time. I first glue around the top seam of the elastic fabric and then pin it to the boot piece like this. By my, my silence. By my silence. Doggy is about corporate green now. Not yet. <laughs> I love how she can joke about this kind of stuff. I love it. I love it. Finally, close the rest of the front seam. Good sides in. I turn it inside out. Well, you see me sponsored by Disney, you would know. Yeah, if we see her sponsored by Disney, we know that the corporate green finally got to her. Finally did. How is that not censored? Why didn't she censor the feet? She didn't censor the feet. And now take tiny pleather strips and thread them through the buckles first. As you can see, I attach one set of buckle straps to the boot already. She's got everything. I simply attach them with glue and F. Well, just able to be used, around the you know, I glue them to one stuff. side of the back <laughs> and then carefully glue them around the leg on one of my nomads you to know, make sure the length of the is correct. <laughs> yes, of course. I teeny tiny decorations to the back as well with some glue and tweezers and finish off the little leg back like that as well. Only one more accessory to make, the gloves. For these, I simply take a folded and cleaned up rectangle cut from jersey fabric and will sew them along the short seam, just leaving open a tiny gap for Ducky's thumb. Kind of the same way I made Iron Mouse's gloves back in the day. I can oh, then yeah. them to the hands like my this and I really love this easy but nice technique I making so stupid, you need fingerprints. Oh no, you need fingerprints. Accessories is definitely my favorite thing to do. I was 50 percent done with those gloves. Fifty <laughs> percent done with those gloves. Not 100 percent yet, but 50 percent. Actually done at this point. But for those of you who know me, you probably know Best that there is just ever. <laughs> exactly the doll stand. I have conveniently vectored by how cute she turned. Oh, that's me, Ducky, Ducky Bird. Oh she called me cute. I just put her together, and she is everything. But I know you're probably dying to see her. So presentation time! Yay! Oh, nice. 
very cute. She does exactly. Holy crap. It is very cute. Holy crap. Bro, you can barely tell which one's the real donkey bird. Hey, you can barely tell who's the real donkey bird. <laughs> Who will you shoot? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you really? Tell me now. <laughs> Who's talking? You'll never know. You'll never know. You'll never be able to get the right one. And then it goes right next to Iron Mouse. The hair. The hair is like so well done. Yeah, the hair is really well done. It's actually so cute. And here is my finished ducky doll, and I hope you love her as much as I do. I also hope the new owner will be super happy with this doll as well. The new owner and me. She bought it herself. Oh, wait, sorry, I did not mean to fast forward that part where you get married. I'm so sorry, that was an accident. Congratulations on the wedding! Big shout out as Congratulations to the wedding! Yes, of course, Greg, congratulations to the wedding, and congratulations to Doki Bird for getting a doll made out of her. And this person that made the doll, Moonlight Jewel, is amazing at making the doll. Let's see how people reacted to this. He said, honestly, Moonlight Jewel really did a great job making Doki Doll. Can't help but feel envious for the person at the auction. 3D printer full of forbidden waifu soup. Uh, thief? I thought she was a mall lady. <laughs> I know it's Doki Bird and people like Doggy Bird, but I think it's Ducky Bird. Yes, it's Ducky Bird. Ducky Bird. It's always Ducky Bird. Uh, those aren't bows. There's a rabbit ears. Bow, bow, mel, mel. So yeah, this it, people are very happy. And of course, the new owner, I'm, I can guarantee you, is going to be super happy about this. It's an amazing doll. And I'm glad that she got it. Next is another bit of news. And of course, May the 4th be with you. Happy May the 4th. She's now part of the 100K Club. Cheers to that. Beyond that, hopefully she'll continue being beyond that. Now she can actually get her own play button. Oh my god, another one. I thought they could just ask Claude Clawmark, but no, they can't. And apparently, they just have to go out of Nidisanji in order to get one. Uh, she can actually touch it, and then it hurts Riku every time. Let's go, Sayu Yippee. Uh, being funny and idiot, hear me out. What if I just on where to send the silver button to Nidisanji office? Oof, if she does that, that would be really, really messed up, but yeah. Uh, again, she got 1,032 as of three hours ago. She's probably higher than that now. Now she gets the 102k subs, beat Zion who had 101k. She's going to get there, and she's going to beat Zion. Uh, again, uh, let's see, she can finally bring the silver play button home. Congrats, Sayu. Yeah, it's, it's a big, big congratulations for her. Uh, she deserves it. Brett Armchair's video helped in this. I, either way, I'm happy for her. Also, didn't know she already had 100k plus on Twitch for a little while, but now she can say she has 100k plus on two platforms. And the YouTube one is a bit more of a direct hit to... Um, to Nidhi Sanji because of the, you know, play button issue. 100,000 more in the future. Congrats, Sayo. Everyone's like saying well-deserved, etc. And yes, it is very well-deserved for her. Michi, or Mika Militika, and um, Shannon, which is Siska Liontine, I believe, both used to be of Nidhi Sanji ID, but now Shannon is a part of a new organization, and Michi is also part of a new organization. They're playing Valorant right now. Show them your support, of course. The Dream ID collab VTuber, they're back. Let's go. We're so back, baby. Context, please. I know it's Michi, but the other one, context you need is from this one right here, in case you guys missed it. She's part of uh, Aka Virtual, which is basically the ID version, the Indonesia version of Vishojo. It's not directly tied to Vishojo, but I mean, they do the kind of the same things as Vishojo does, take on talents that are already pretty good, know what they're doing, and give them all of the support that they need in order to make something good for themselves in the future. And it's very, very good that she has it. We're so back. Saren Jakut breaking into the house. My life is complete. Seriously, glad to see them together again. Yes, they're together again in this in the form of being, uh, you know, Nidhi Sanji, old, old Nidhi Sanji ID sisters. And now they're back and playing some Valorant. We're going to be talking right now about Kami Furo, the two uh, Comic Frontier people uh they are these groups of people who are making a you know they have a yearly convention just like off kai and other ones uh this one's more comic related i believe but they are having people like k9 kudo they are having people like michi mochi v going through there and you know they have circle loading guide and you know for the comic circles it's like comic kit but here in the u.s it's what i take it as uh day three entertainment oregon chinooga weebu uh they're having all these you know guests here from different places they are indonesian from what i understand uh it, I'm correcting myself from anything earlier that I said that wasn't Indonesian. They are um, Indonesian overall. It's kind of like a comic cat, but for Indonesia. And they have, as I said, Michi Mochi V. She's going to be one of the people showing up there. Uh, she's going to have her first meet and greet only two weeks after she joined uh, Vishojo, which makes you think, especially since these things are planned way ahead of time, that this is going to be something that was planned as well way ahead of time. 
her showing up to Vishojo was probably planned months ahead of time. And because they already knew that she was going to be a part of it in May, that they already had the invitation to uh, Michi Mochi V. They couldn't, you know, announce it way beforehand because of the fact that she hadn't debuted yet. So they had to wait until after she debuted in order for this to happen. This is just what I think is happening. I'm so happy for her. I remember watching her during Niji and she got uh, no events, meet and greet, merch, anything. Uh, no true go ongoing support. Really bummed me. And now she has amazing CCV, good support, good managers, etc. So Michi, it's no longer a surprise that once Niji Pillar member leaves and reincarnates, opportunities start pouring in. It's so mundane now that we assume it's going to happen. It's not going to happen to everybody. It won't necessarily happen to everybody. Sponsors and event organizers know who the real deal. They just need the gosh darn middleman to get out of the way. I hope that it happens to everybody who is actually, you know, of kind heart and actually tries to do things for others because they deserve it. The people who are of kind heart and the people who actually are trying hard are the ones who deserve the support. Uh, I think this was actually one of her goals when she debuted and she get it right away. So that was good. She got one of her, her, her goals to be met. And next we have, of course, the Kami Fudo. The God of the Undead Miracles from Vishojo will hold a special meet and greet session at CF18. The 18th time, I guess. Uh, get special meet and greet tickets. There are a two day pass. Indonesian, uh, in, in Indonesia, the, the specific money, uh, 450,000, which I don't know exactly what that ends up being. It says, I wish I could attend, but I'm happy for K9 and we'll have this opportunity. I hope everyone will have fun. Thank you for bringing Kudo to this event. What the F is, and, and people are just going back to the Ramadan thing. Uh, so people are kind of mixed because, of course, Indonesia is mixed with, you know, Muslim and other religions. Um, and I believe it is, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I believe it is a majority Muslim at this point, at least. And that was, you know, the Ramadan thing really got him disliked by a lot of people. Uh, and we just went over, you know, the, the actual thing here and seeing what people say, have fun with Kudo, yo, let's go. You know, a lot of people in the West are probably the ones that you let's go. And there's some people in Indonesia who are like, eh, I'm not so sure because of the insensitive things that were said in the past. Kuro, as we know, doesn't have a filter, still doesn't fix the issues, still doesn't prevent him from getting any kind of criticism because he deserves it. Can't open the link. Don't put the link in the title. You can't open it. Try to post it in the comments. Thank you for the tweet. Thanks for the link. Don't see hate comments as far as I can see. Most of it excited, just saying gibberish. Well, quite understandable happened with the Ramadan situation. Context, Kami Fudo's anime convention in Indonesia. Kuro will have meet and greet there, and people are surprised and welcome at the announcement. Not mixed at all. The only one with unhappy response is people who talk many English channels about Kuro bad kind of tweet. Don't think I'm watching the bad from main Indo account, and don't dabble in many English discourse. Though, uh, just thought Kuro, as for the lack of better words, annoying at most. So it's not a horrible horrible like oh my god it's it's just you know riots in the streets type of thing it's yeah there's going to be haters because of the ramadan comment there's going to be people who are just going to be enjoying the fact that another person who's famous is going to go uh yeah comic cat for indonesia so i was right uh put it this way unlike quinn i see kuro as a naive idiot but no ill will. True. Uh, he doesn't seem to have any ill will. He just doesn't seem to have a filter. He doesn't seem to think things through. I can kind of, I can definitely relate with that because, you know, because of my tism and things like that, uh, uh, I'm on the spectrum. I kind of had that issue too. Because uh, Ramadan, tell them to forgive him this time. It's because Rima. I don't know, man. I don't know if they know about Rima. I don't think they know about Rima. So who knows? But I wish them both the best. I wish them both huge success because they deserve it. They are working hard. They're both working hard. Although, you know, Kuro has uh, less of a filter compared to Michi, but um, they're both doing their best. And I do wish them the best. Virtual Rhapsody was, in my opinion, a flop. I have mentioned it many times before that I consider it a flop. And of course, happy May the 4th to you. May the 4th be with you. And here we go. Uh, maybe it's because they know it was a flop and they're trying not to expose it to the public because this person saying, Ali mentioned that they were a part of this or this event. Uh, Dreamhack posted about the whole Hollow Live event and Virtual Rhapsody has pretty much stayed silent about everything after, well, after the whole Virtual Rhapsody thing happened, you know, when the whole Virtual Rhapsody thing was happening. So they haven't done anything, any new posts, but yeah, I think it might be because they know that it was a flop and they know that they had um, the whole line incident, the whole incident of meet and greets where they made it so that the people didn't, um, didn't get the time that they paid for. And that is never looking good. That never looks good on anybody that doesn't look good on the organizers or anybody else. That's probably why they they have it this this uh kind of be quiet attitude when it comes to this. So on the JP side, we have Suisei, uh, who was a part of a VTuber singing king. She was announced an announcer on it, I assume. Uh, it was basically, I believe, indies and other people in it. Uh, congratulations to Fuji Aoi, which is the one who won here. Uh, and she said, happy to see Fuji, one of the absolute OG VTubers, still going strong. Which I can see Kanata next year. Aoi is so cool. And yes, they, uh, you know, went through everything. It was a three hour and 54 minute thing on Rika channel. So um, they went through everything, you know, uh, she was, yeah, this is Fuji Aoi. Ah, 
Oh, dang, they're going on pitch too. So yeah, it's kind of like a like a like a singing band type of thing. Okay, so she won. She won, and that's very cool. Um, 98.476 is what she got. She won. She won. And that was like a like a, 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 a rock band type of singing thing in the sense of you have to have the pitch perfect and everything like that. So glad that she won. And then Rika also did this. Um, they did a song with the winners, with a lot of people who are participating, with I think all the participants actually. They did a song together. Um, and of course, very happy to see that that is something going on. Really, really happy to see this. And of course, uh, I hope the best for them. Here we go in a little bit of meme time. Of course, this is LinkedIn, but this is becoming a meme pretty much because you can see the way one CEO does it, which is Motogaki Tanago, which is Yago. And the fact that he is happy to respond to the live show in Australia was good. He's doing responses. He's doing all these things about his shows in Australia, his shows in other places, while Rik Riku Tazumi has nothing except for the fact that he's a CEO. He, I think, just made the LinkedIn profile because someone probably told him making the LinkedIn profile and he doesn't really care about it. Uh, who, why does even Rico have one then? Rico friends peer pressure him to get one, I guess. Guy is way too private of his life. Caged himself in the public for CEO. Uh, even other CEO has something at least and they're not liked. I wonder if it's the four that follow him at his YouTube account is super dead as well. Barely nothing but Bruno Mars song. His Twitter is deleted. And um, here are the links to the things that we are seeing here. Uh, Hollow EN is to compare the EN talent ones. So this is Motoaki Tanigo over here talking about all his stuff that's going on all his projects, articles that he wrote, all that kind of stuff here. Um, and a lot of the other things are signed in, and I'm not going to sign into LinkedIn for that kind of stuff. But uh, the comparison of both, the not Idols guy is a background with song and music production, but the Idols guy is a background in gaming. Dimitri Hazuki, projector, project director of Hollow Live EN. Now I know why she already joined Hollow. Uh, yeah, it's basically the, the fact is Hollow Live seems to want to promote themselves everywhere that they want. And that's kind of smart on their end. But, uh, you know, Rika Tazumi doesn't. And that's the meme that we're going on here. Happy Star Wars Day. It says, we have you four to one. I like those odds. Pretty much, yeah, because uh, Hollow Live, Hollow Live uh, has been beating a lot of numbers, CCVs at least, for the uh, for the foreseeable future. They're probably going to continue doing that for Nidhi Sanji because Nidhi Sanji went with the meat shield approach of just throwing things into the meat grinder. And Hollow Live was actually trying to, uh, you know, nourish their talents trying to make sure that they have everything that they need. So yeah, that's why the four to one thing's gonna work. May the fourth be with you. May the force shine on Hollow Live and sh sink the effing yacht. Success. It says livers need to be successful. Hollow Life picked her up. That doesn't count. Uh, yeah, because the livers need to be successful on on, uh, on Nidhi Sanji. They picked up Luna, which Nidhi Sanji saw as, you know, able to throw away. It was Mororu. We already went over the story of Mororu many times. They pretty much mistreated her because of her voice. And uh, she was left crying at her graduation because no one came to play a game. No one in Nidhi Sanji even came to say hi or goodbye or, you know, thank you for being here or anything like that. Then we have Sayu, who's also uh, was tossed away by Nidhi Sanji and is being successful now. Kenan Kuro, who's tossed away and is successful now. Matara Khan, who left and was successful now. Uh, well, actually, Kenan Kuro left. Uh, Michi Mochi V left as well. She's successful now. And we have Doki Bird, who was unceremoniously terminated as well as Sayu, and they're doing very successful. So uh, livers need, need us to be successful. So yeah, no, they don't need you anymore, uh, Nidhi Sanji. They don't need you. And I'm glad that all these people, including Luna, Luna has over a million subscribers now. So the person they tossed aside uh, is successful outside of of Nidhi Sanji. 10 out of 10. Uh, here's your order, Doki. Thanks, Sakana. Looks great. Hey, Fishman, I, I'll have what she's having. Sorry, Riku, but that was our last cup of coffee. And yeah, that one's an old school meme. It's an old school meme. It started when the whole last cup of coffee thing happened and Doki Bird became Doki Bird. It's an old school meme, but it's definitely a good one. Next, we have Slender Man with Yaoi Hand versus Tumblr Sexy Man 90% his leg. Why shoe is longer than even Betel has higher heels. So Betel has high heels. Uh, Shu has, has just regular regular ones and his legs are about the same length uh, i mean the 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 
What I mean is that the hips are in the same place, but the legs are longer because look how long this is and look how how much extra the, sh the heels have on Betel. So yeah, for Betel, it works because of different textures, lines, colors make overall design more cohesive and stand him out in a positive light. For Shu, it's all monochrome. Pants in particular flare out, make him wide and bulky while his torso has been reduced and slimmed out. I don't think, I don't know if the artist for Shu was attempting to make him taller, but in the end, of, in the end they just made him look too cartoonish. And that's the issue. They made him look cartoonish. That's why he is uh, right now in the meme side. On a bit of a hollow lab note, we have, uh, do you think you'll see more Nidhi Sanji graduations, terminations, or hollow parent debuts? So, uh, can I marry Marine? Marine's IRL dad conditions. Uh, I'd be surprised if you don't see at least one more graduation or termination with Niji in the next couple of months or so. Yeah, I think there's already a queue. I, that's my rat. That's my rat that's going around. Of course, since it's an opinion, a rat hasn't been proven, but I think there's a queue. They'll specifically be preventing graduations in quarter four because they want to make everything look rosy, positive, things are getting better, that type of word. <clears throat> it's not a case of it of if but when Niji Sanji brand is hurting the good talents have left company isn't really helping them let's face it 3d debuts and crap at the moment and pretending they care they can see it's way better outside give them time Niji can't hold them in without getting into serious legal stuff could probably see more hollow parent debuts if the guys and gals aren't too busy with major work since both Narissa's fam and Pekora's mom quite broke boundaries so yeah uh they broke boundaries and they also broke a lot of records so i know you know if if you're smart you start going on the bandwagon in the case of like peko mom and that kind of thing her niji has implemented a policy that any needy vtubers can bring their relatives anymore they shot themselves in the foot with that one and lastly niji sanji is definitely putting the graduation list on hold since they're mega effed in quarter four reports best case scenario is maybe one of three vtubers let their contract expire and leave the worst case but it'll be a massive merge to niji jp and let them rot without any marketing so yeah it's Niji JP is not going to be doing very well. I think JP is going to not lose anybody, even though, you know, they're getting hit still by what EN's happening. But EN is probably going to start losing more people. That's just my opinion. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.